look at all those seagulls. Oh, look at all that poop. Got him. Oh, there's one. Oh, he slammed that. Oh, there's a fish. That's a good fish. We've got our bass to do our catch and cook on. Oh, oh, got him, got him, got him. What is it? What did I just hook into? spinner came out of the line clip on the side of my rod <laughs> so now we got our spinner dangling look at all those seagulls oh look at all that poop holy crap you know something about this place seems familiar is it just me or have I been here before oh wait of course I've been here before we're at the bass spot Oh, guys, guys, I can see one, two, three, four, five, I can see six largemouth right over there. Six freaking bass. That's insane. Oh, great. Alrighty, guys, got a black streamer tied on. It's a largemouth bass. Oh, awesome. That's my hey. You know what, you should do? what? Go towards the bridge. Oh yeah, I know. There's big trout sitting in there. Yeah. Yeah, I usually catch a lot of largemouth bass here, so I usually yeah. stop here and try and catch some, but I usually head there right after, so. Yeah, there's bass. There's trout in there right now. Yeah. Alrighty guys, as much as I would love to stay here and fish for bass, they're just not really biting. So before I leave, I'll come back here and fish again. Um, but until then, let's go over to the trout spot. Cause that guy, I mean, obviously I know that there's trout over there, but uh, he clearly didn't know that I knew that. So he was telling me all about it. So at least that we know that there's trout there right now today. So we're gonna get on our bike right on over there and uh, hopefully catch some fish. So stay tuned guys. Alrighty guys, so I just realized something. That guy told me that there were trout there. Obviously means that uh, he told everyone else who was fishing that he walked by that there were trout there. So holy, oh, that scared me. Okay. Anyway though, uh, if he told me that, then he probably means he told others. So I gotta get there before, you know, everyone in the pond shows up and it's impossible to catch anything. So late, there's already lots of people over there. So, let's hope they don't know what they're doing and they're not scaring the fish. Oh, there's one. Oh, he slammed that. Wasn't even paying attention and he slammed it. Wowza. Little guy, but holy snot. Wasn't, I was not watching when he just smashed it. These uh, lures have some good sharp hooks, otherwise I would have missed him, but... Oh. Gotta give it a kiss. There you go. All right. Oh, easy, buddy, easy. I just gotta show you to the camera. Oh, if he'll stop flopping. Holy crap, my guy. Oh, holy. Okay, that's it, fine. Get out of here. Scram, I don't care. Nice trout. Oh. Alrighty, guys. That fish, um, he went belly up down there, so... Alrighty guys, well, got a ton of hits on the cricket hopper, but they were not slamming it, and I just was not, wasn't getting hooked up. So, 
Um, I'm leaving early so that I can go fish the bass spot and um, that other spot where I caught that tanker largemouth uh, yesterday. So I am going to uh, I'm gonna run on down there and uh, try and catch some fish. Alrighty, guys, just got done fishing um, the largemouth spot. I finished fishing at the trout spot, went on over to the largemouth spot, didn't catch anything else. And the reason why is because I discovered this very recently, like a few days ago when I was last here, um, this exact same thing happened in the, in the middle of the day when it was hot outside and the sun was out, there were largemouths stacked all over that place. But then the second evening comes out, nothing. And what they're doing is that's their shelter place. That's where they're kind of sticking around during the day and they're not like, you know, aggressively looking for food. They're just kind of waiting for food to come to them. But once evening comes out, they go and hunt for mosquitoes and stuff like that. And this area right here, oh look, that bird right there has a largemouth bass in his mouth and a fish is jumped right there. See what I mean? They're coming to places like this or you just have lots and lots of insects and flowing water. Oh, oh, got him, got him, got him. What is it? What did I just hook into? Is it, oh my gosh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I thought it was a tanker bass, but it's just a, a really nice rainbow. Wow, I casted, he came, hit it once, missed it, came back and chased it down again and got it. Wow, that is a beautiful rainbow. I don't know guys, what do you think? Might be time to take a thumbnail picture. <laughs> there you go, little buddy. And he's off. Awesome guy, oh, yep. Yep, he's, he's working on, there he goes. All right, now he's off. <laughs> oh, no, he went belly up. Oh, there we go, got him. Like I said earlier in this video, guys, when you see a fish go belly up like that, a lot of people just, you know, think that they're dead. But really, um, they're just kind of having shock initially. You know, they just got caught and they just fought for their life. So they're not exactly, you know, ready to swim off. And it probably is bad of me to just throw them in the water like that, but it's a bad habit I have. I probably should break that habit, but. But anyway, if, if you're in a lake and you know you see a fish do that, just tap them with your lure or your foot. And usually nine out of 10 times, they'll swim right off, especially if you keep them out of the water for a short time. Alrighty guys, tied on a number two MEP spinner. One of the biggest spinners I've got in my box. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we can already cast twice as much. Woo, let's catch some fish, guys. Oh, got one. Oh, no, he got off. No. What was that? What was that? I literally just stopped talking and something just smashed it. Oh, there you go. Got him. Got him. Fish on. Fish on. What do we got? Is it? Oh, it got off right there. Dang it. Oh, I don't know what that was. Could have been a rainbow. Could have been a largemouth. Oh, dang it. Whatever it was, it wasn't huge. So, oh, got him. There we go, got him. Oh, this is a good fish. What is this? Holy crap. Oh, okay. What do we got? Rainbow. Wow, but he like hooked him in the side of the mouth. So he fought really hard, even though he's not a very big fish, but woo, awesome. Just got another one. Okay, don't flop, little buddy. There we go, guys. Beautiful rainbow right in the, in the, in the, th there he goes. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Welcome to the day after the day that all the other footage of this video has been in. Don't know if that's proper grammar or not, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Um, but anyway, guys, we're back at Bountiful Pond. I decided to not do a separate video and just add this into this video, so hope you enjoy. Anyway, guys, 
fishing in a different place than I usually do, decided instead of going straight to the bass spot, I was gonna go over here and see if, who knows, maybe this could be a good fishing spot. Um, but also the plans for today are to catch a fish, whatever it is, and uh, do a catch and cook on it. So hopefully we can land some nice fish and uh, let's do a catch and cook. Alrighty guys, nothing going on here. Let's uh, let's move down to the bass spot. All right. Oh, look at all the fish I just spooked right there. Starting out the day with a classic Meps spinner. And the only reason why is because I just had this on after the last video and I just didn't, oh, got one, got one, got one. Gotta stop talking. What do we got? Largemouth bass, a little on the small side, not gonna keep this guy. That guy's almost bait sized. Let's get him back. Well, that's a good sign. Oh, there's a fish. That's a good fish. Oh yeah, it's a decent bass. Oh yeah, that's a good bass. That's a good bass. Wow. Oh, perfect, came right off. Well, guys, we've got our bass to do our catch and cook on. Look at that. That is a decent bass for this area. And we've got our catch and cook fish. He's not, you know, a huge one, but for this pond, that is a decent bass. Awesome, let's get the stringer out and uh, Let's toss him back in the water with the stringer still attached. It's funny guys, because literally you guys can see where the sun is. I haven't caught anything since that last bass earlier today. Showed up. Literally, I went over to the trout spot, fished there all the way until now, came back to the bass spot, made like two freaking casts and got this nice little largemouth bass. So uh, we're gonna put him on the stringer just to keep him nice and fresh. Because fresh meat is key. There we go, just tied him up onto that dock there. All right, that's awesome. Let's uh, try and catch another one. The limit in all community ponds in Utah is two. So we can only keep one more fish. So it'd be awesome to get another bass, but if not, maybe we'll catch a trout or a bluegill or something. All righty guys. It's probably too dark for you guys to see anything, but we made it home. Let's go inside and let's cook up this largemouth bass.